Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne. And again, we're here at Olympia Fields Country Club and I'm here with Kit, a horticulturist and responsible for all of these beautiful gardens right around the clubhouse. Uh, Dino was also involved with Great Lakes with a lot of the different work here. But I think this is a lot of your our artistry, isn't it? Yeah, the annual beds are all what I take care of around the clubhouse and um, been doing it for a long time. So I 35 know, years, I think you said yeah. before. And, uh, and again, a uh, number of plants. Uh, about 6,500 four inch, about 20 hanging baskets and about 60 containers. Wonderful. Tell me a few of the highlights here. You're loving these Whopper begonias, right? Yes, Whopper begonias are reliable. They don't need deadheading. They are very drought tolerant. If we don't get a chance to water, they don't wilt. So that's always a plus. Combining it beautifully with the coleus. Yeah, that's Heartbreaker coleus from Ball Seed with uh, Sunrise Rose Landmark Series. Lantana. These lantanas are fascinating again with all the different colors on it. Yep. You're picking up all your colors. <laughs> the and then tell me a little bit about the salvia in the background. That's rock and fuchsia. Um, it's a little bit shorter than the black and blue, which helps like in front of the windows and such so that it doesn't get so tall. And um, the deadheading with the bees is the worst part of it. <laughs> yeah. And you hand water these beds, I think you told yeah. me, right? We there don't is, even, there's no irrigation in here. There is irrigation, but when the plants get big, it doesn't cover. Got it. So and that's then, when we're hand watering. Right. You got and it. then there's dry spots. Okay. We're touring around another section of the building. This is by the paddle ball court area. And I just wanted to feature this beautiful annual bed. Uh, Kit, tell me what's in this bed. We have black and blue salvia as the backdrop with Vulcan coleus and lemon coral sedum. And then on this side we have uh, a red penta with another coleus with more lemon coral. This is a beautiful combination and you got to understand that this is an annual sedum so this is not going to come back but you use it because it's so vigorous and, and softens all the edges. Correct. Beautiful color combination. You were telling me too as we go through here that the hummingbirds kind of buzz right through here especially the black and blue salvia so there's a lot going on here. In our background over here is a section that was just re-landscaped by Dino uh, from Great Lakes. Uh, Nina designed this section, so that's filling in as, uh, I would imagine that was just kind of a little bit of a blank space. Right, and it was with the construction of the paddleball courts, we needed to add more landscape and it helps screen the new air handlers. Makes sense. There's some big arborvitas there that'll add some great screening. Mm -hmm. And then when you've got these great raised vegetable gardens, I love this. Yeah. And tell me something, a little bit about this. Well, with the construction of the paddleball court, we uh, actually had to renovate this area. And so we thought, well, why not do a potager garden that the kitchen can use? and the members can help themselves if they want to. Great. So you're using this for the vegetables. And if you want to zoom in here, Dana behind the scenes here, and this is just great. And what was that tomato called? That's Midnight Snack. It's a little cherry. It starts out black and then goes cherry red. Beautiful. You're using it again for your uh, people that visit as well as the kitchen. Yep. And I'm seeing this great granite pathway as well. Very clean and excellent potted your garden. Thank you. Kid, I've been doing this a long time and every time I see something a little more innovative and I felt this bed was that way. You, you, you really use some vibrant colors. So tell us a little bit about a few of the plants in here. Okay, we have angel face blue, super blue, the angelonia. That angelonia is beautiful and yeah, tall. Right, and that's rose glow sun patient with butterfly rose penta. Loving the pentas for the bees and the butterflies. butterflies. The lantana is Sunrise Rose, the landmark series, which I use a lot because it spreads more. And then really cool that you threw in this gomfrina. Yes, that's a taller gomfrina called Ping Pong Purple. Um, I like it because it does pop above the other foliage and it just adds another texture interest. Great vibrance, great color in here. Now, you said the beds were irrigated, and I know you, once they get too big though, there's a lot of supplemental watering going on, right? Yes, um, we can't 
get all the corners watered with the irrigation because the foliage gets so tall that it distorts all the sprays. So we do hand water. We water half the place one day and the other half the next day. Excellent. So it takes like two days to water. Are you like fertilizing like crazy? What we do is we rototill in granular when we plant. Uh, we do a, a, a little, little, little. we do nature safe for the transplants because we bro break open the bottoms and then we do 14, 14, 14 a poly coated. Okay, that carries, so that's a little more slow release. So we carry it through the season. Okay, I think I'll end over here with this section, a lot of warm colors here and I'm liking this in these beds too. The lantana again, the coleus, some more coleus on this side. Uh, a little bit of a salvia too. What salvia? Do you remember the salvia? Roman here? red salvia. I've tried that the last couple of years and I like it. And I do like it with the angelonia. That color combination nice. is like cherry red with the purple. Again, super creative, beautiful work. Thank you again so much for sharing all this with us. And uh, thank you for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here. Wow.